Hey, what's up? I'm Richard three two three here. Uh, it's been a very long time since I don't make a video. And uh, before I get started with the video, I just want to introduce myself and say a big thank you to all my new subscribers because I got a lot of new subscribers in like triple amount of that I has. And uh, but I just want to say welcome to my channel. And uh, here you're gonna learn some computer science tips and. Uh, we can also expose cameras and a video gonna upgrade than before. Also, <laughs> such my English too. And uh, yeah, well, I I'm gonna do quality. Before I was going with the quantity, now I'm going with the quality. Okay, uh, very only approved content. So. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the content. So today I'm gonna show you how to install, not install. Well, the most easiest way. To make a USB bootable drive, and uh, first it's very easy. So let's get started. <laughs> So, we only gonna need two things for that. I think everyone know what it is. It's certainly not a unicorn, but it's in a USB, right? But the second thing is gonna be Etcher, which is seriously is the best software. Really easy. It's for that. Beautiful graphic. And uh, yeah, this program allows you simply to drag this with OS, then you select your drive, your USB, and then your flash. It cannot be more simple than that. Very awesome. Personally, I'm gonna boot Paradox, so first of all, just, like, just download your OS. So. This are the OS. In fact, I don't really have technically to show you this, but uh, yeah, it's just to, for you understand the concept. Like, okay, just try your OS, it doesn't need to be Parrot main OS as. Okay, I already downloaded you download. And then, we're gonna download Etcher. Etcher.io, right here. And you choose your operating system, your OS operating system, which I am with Mac. So, which is fantastic. This one is I work with Mac, Windows, and Linux. Which, once you have finished download Etcher, you're gonna execute the file. Oh, first, I'm gonna disconnect the internet. And then simply drag it to application. I know in Windows is different, but I think you can open a file. I believe in you. And so for the following, I'm gonna change a computer. Okay, so finally we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stay with the first computer. As uh, yeah, I forget this one is only four gigabyte of RAM. Now the other one is 8 GB RAM, so I'm just gonna copy the file, my USB, then transfer it to my other Mac, then we're gonna run format the USB, then we're gonna install the OS, then we're gonna use Etcher. Okay, let's just show you. Let's get it more simple, right? That's why I do this video. So let's do it, man. See you there. Okay. Okay, so here comes the tricky part. Not so tricky, but it is a place where most of people fail. I will show you, don't worry, if you got trouble, just join my Discord, link or in the description, I will show you. So, just go to Desk Utility. Yeah, this is mostly for Mac, but you know, on Windows, that's not the hardest part. Like, the hardest part is to find a software on Mac, because they don't really exist. It's like the only free software that is decent without, not suspicious of having malware. 
that's a good website like it's too good to be true but it is true so fantastic huh? I also recommend you uh, Avast security you can scan uh, any file just by dropping your phone sorry I'm not sponsored by them but like you can just put it there for your safety and use a uh, custom scan schedule so that's pretty good well now you need to erase everything on your RAID hard drive okay. but be careful don't raid your main hard drive because you're gonna very regret it man. you're gonna want to cry as if you don't know what the virus want to cry so you simply uh, do it in MS-DOS so we're gonna turn in MS-DOS FAT32 and uh, that's perfect that's what you want then you partition it so I already do it so that's why I don't do it but uh, then you're not gonna be able to uh, swipe it already so you change it to Mac OS uh, extended journal it then you split it in two then you put it to the same size in fact than your OS you're gonna put in so if we see is 3.81 so you can put a little bit more that's not important but yeah I'm gonna put four uh, gigabytes it's gonna be all right and then you're gonna do we're gonna put it in MS DOS <laughs> So that's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do another partition of four gigabytes. In fact, we need to have around eight gigabytes in total. Don't do it. Okay. Mm. So we're gonna call this partition with MS DOS. We're gonna call it the name of your OS. <coughs> Parent OS. So this will be your OS. Press enter in the appear. This will be where your OS will go. And this will be persistent, the memory. So we call it persistent. Or well, whatever you want, I mean. It's just more easy for you. And this will be all wasted storage. Yeah, it's sad, huh? But yeah, it cannot be anything. But if you have like cubes or us, uh, it do it. I mean, you can always turn it back after this. So, uh, I mean, yeah, video on YouTube on that. So they yeah, have already better video. So sorry, just let's focus on that. So. This is, I would call it storage, but this is wasted storage in fact. But not very because you can recover your USB. So, then just verify, be sure like your main OS is in the MS DOS, persistent in an Mac, Mac OS extended journal, and uh, storage is also in Mac OS extended journal. So then you can process, proceed. And partition. And then you cross your finger. No. <laughs> it will work okay. It doesn't work. Sometimes you will have some crash. You just try to redo it there. Like you see you have a crash. I'm gonna show you what you do. In fact, like both of them, they are here. So. Let's repartition it as one. Oh, damn. That's what happened. Not good. <laughs> Not good at okay. That's good. So we put it again in Mac OS, um, MS DOS. So apply again.
and successful. Yeah, just sometimes crash in the middle of the operation. But like the USB is not wasted and you know, just you restart the process and it can be successful. Sometimes crash multiple times but yeah, we can also broke your USB after you know, a lot of technique. Well you can recover it but, I mean, you need to have a little bit of knowledge and code of what you do with it. Yeah, so what is POS? Wait a second, you don't have to have any POS. Oh, Parato West, okay, got it. Perfect. So, we are ready. So, if everything looks like that, then you can have a last check out my. You have your OS there, you have the persistence there, macOS extended, uh, MS DOS, and macOS extended again. So, everything is perfect at this point. So, you can close this. And now. Uh, I'm going to launch Etcher if it is not in your application, as it is not in my application, or it is not on the dock, the launch pad, you go on Finder, then you go on Applications, <laughs> and you'll find it right here, so you can start. And yes, you can trust them. He's okay. You always disable internet for those kind of things. So yeah, as I said, that's very easy. You select the image, you select the OS once. Mine is Parrot, so I need to find it. There it is. Just select it. Then you select your. Yeah, you already find it. Excellent. So you don't even have to select your USB. And flash. Add your three password. Because this is a line of code, runs in the. probably as root. But it's safe. There you go. If you do everything correctly, it will work. I do it with Colin Linux, in fact. Down, uh, I uh, <coughs> I removed the boot, so down with the same USB now I'm installing Power Tools. But yeah, once you boot, you like you cannot just reformat it and erase everything that uh, that will stop. You will not be able to do it. You will have. Uh, well, you have video, that's not so hard. You can do it on VM if you want with the Linux or something. That's very easy. So I will skip. Do it.